All right, next order of business. We're going to put a graphic on a car. All right, so when I go on to meaning that, I mean you could put a, a tiger or a, something like that on your car. Here's how you do this. We go to the internet. I have, you could put a logo on your car. You could put an image on your car of a scene. And I'm showing you, uh, you could put different scenarios on your car. So I have a tiger. We have money because it's a green car. I figured beautiful dolphins are an idea. And some of you like logos. After this uh, tutorial, you guys are able to also put people in your car as well. If you wanted to put people in like the passenger side or the driver's side, you're going to know how to do all of that stuff creatively. I'm not going to... I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you how to put the images on the car and let you leave it up to your imagination, up to yourselves. So let's do this. First things first, the tiger. I'll show you how to put. Now, I want to do the dolphins first. All right. So if I take these dolphins right here, right, I'm going to copy this image. I just did a search. I got a nice sized image, by the way. Oh, snap. Let me go back. Sorry. Oh, no, don't do this to me. Let me go back out of here. All right, great. See the size of this image? It's 1600 by 1089. I am going to copy this image. We're going to go back into Photoshop. All right. I'm going to just get rid of this tiger image because it's kind of messing me up. All right. Don't worry about it. I did it earlier before and prepped this. So came here, right click, copy image, went into Photoshop, edit, paste. Boom. Ginormous. Watch this. Lower the transparency. In layer one, this is your dolphin's layer. Lower the transparency so you can see where these dolphins are going to land on your car. So I'm going to take this guy, and I kind of think that it should be smaller. No problem. Hit Control-T. Control-T. Keep the proportions without hitting Shift so they're not constrained. And I'm going to put them, like, right about here. These guys look kind of cute. I'm going to lower them a little bit more. I think that that's going to look pretty, pretty legit. That's going to look fabulous. I like that. Right now, I want them a little smaller. Hold on. Boom. There they are, baby. Um... These guys are going to look great. These guys are going to look really, really, really good over here. All right, so there he is, a little smaller. I like that. That's going to be a cool scene. So watch this. Here's what a lot of people are going to do. They're going to take this image. They're going to bring it up here. Then they're going to start cutting out this dolphin, put this one dolphin on here with the lasso tools. You know, you can do that. You can use literally these tools, and you can start cutting him out. Don't do that. Don't do it. Deselect. Here's what you're going to do. You are going to... Lower the opacity of this, like this. And you can do this with fire, flames, splattered paint, anything to make a vinyl. Lower the opacity so you see where it's going to be. All right? What you're going to do now is you're going to... First, let me just move this guy over just a little bit more to right about there. That's cool. All right. Now, I'm going to use the eraser tool. I'm going to come into here, go to the eraser tool. I'm going to go into this drop menu. Now, you're probably going to see this in the new version of Photoshop. They have general brushes, dry brushes, wet media brushes. There are so many different ones. Click on the general ones. Click on the soft round. All right? I want a generally big brush. You could change the size. I'm making this one roughly 400. It doesn't matter the size. All right? So there it is. It's 433, 432, whatever. Now, watch. I'm slowly erasing. I'm erasing all of this. I'm clicking and dragging. All right? And let me show you what happens by doing that. When I bring the opacity up, the scene is slowly starting to come onto the car. But I'm lowering the opacity. Obviously, there's going to be nothing on the rims. So you don't want anything on the rims. All right, and you could also lower this to a really smaller size. And things like this, you want to get into here. You want to get close. You get super duper close into here. And here, things like this, you want to use the polygonal lasso tool. Because you know why? These are parts of the car that should not have a vinyl on it. This part right here, I know because this is like a little vent on the car. So you can cut this out. Boom. And in this layer right here, if I brought the opacity all the way up, you would go edit, cut. And you just cut that part out of the car. So then when you lower the opacity a little bit like this, it's going to be like it's part of the car. So now let's back out. Hit control zero so you can kind of see what's going on. Control zero. Oh, sorry, I'm not moving here. Boom, control zero. Now you can kind of see how it's coming on. But look at this, we have overlay over here. No problem. Here's the eraser tool. Make it bigger. Right here, going over. Boom, it's coming away. There's your tire. Get rid of it. Oh, look, overlay over there. Boom. 
over there. Now look at that. We got a little, <clears throat> not for nothing. That looks pretty spectacular. I love it. All right, so you got beautiful dolphins on your car now. And um, this did not take much. This is how vinyls are made, guys. People pay big bucks for this stuff. And you could uh, make this bigger and smaller and all that. Yeah, yeah. All right, so those are the dolphins, right? All right, let's go in on another one. That was easy. Let's go and do tigers. All right, no problem. Copy the image. I'm going to fly on this one now because it's time to go. All right, I don't want us to waste too much. I, I really like that one. Now let's go to edit, paste. Boom. Nice looking Bengal tiger. First order of business. First of all, if I want, I'm going to call this one dolphin. You only required one, by the way. Um, you're only required to uh, do one, um, you know, uh, picture. I'm just doing two, taking this image away. And now this guy. Click your move tool. And I'm showing you all the tools in the new version of Photoshop so you guys get the, get it and know what you're doing. All right? I'm going to lower this guy. I'm going to hit Control T. I'm going to keep the por proportions so I don't – I constrain the proportions. Keep them there. Holding Shift is not the way to do it because then he's too skinny or he's too short. All right? So Control Z. Keep the proportions so it stays in proportion. And you can be here too. You can put a tiger over here. It doesn't matter. But then you got to cut out the headlights and then the front grill, all of that good stuff like I showed you over here. I'm just going to fly through this. I'm going to go into the eraser tool. Boom, right here. It's already set to a size that's decent. I'm going to kiss the rim. Boom, right there. Kiss this rim. Get rid of the rim part. That's fine. Get rid of that edge. We'll make the eraser bigger now. All right? Really bigger. Don't be scared. Bigger, 480. All right, cool. Now watch this. I'll bring up the opacity a little bit more. And now I'm going to slowly erase a little bit and see how this is going to come out. Boom. All right, over here. Get rid of it. Holding and clicking and dragging. And boom. Now look at that. I got a tiger. And as you saw on this part, stuff like this, like even these little seams, if you want to be a real uh, dork about it, I love that. You could do this. Watch. Check it. See this line here that are the seams of the car? I'm a real attentive to detail. I want to do the polygonal lasso. I'm going in. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to even cut out the seams of the car. So this way it's, um, you know, you can see everything. And you move over here. I'm going a little, let me backspace, make it perfect, because it should be. All right, I'm slowly going around. All right, boom. I'm just going to come over to here now. <laughs> boom. All right, let's get over here. Nice straight line. Nice straight line. Marching ants coming up. Marching ants coming up. Boom. There they are. There's the marching ants in the tiger layer, which is this layer. Watch this. Delete. Delete. Control D. Now it's gone. When I back out, check it out. Look at that. There's a definitive line here now. You could do the same thing with this one and this one. There's another way to skin this cat. You could also go to the eraser tool, go super duper small, and go super duper close. You can get really close into here. And you can take this uh, deal right here, and you can just start erasing it right here. In this one right here, you start erasing it and go down. Here's why I don't do it. I like definitive lines. And when you get here, it's going to, like, go a little outwards. You know, it's fine. You can get away with it with that, but it's okay, you know. But when you start doing these lines, you don't want to have a big gap like this because it's going to be such a big gap on the line. See that big gap? What I would do is if I was really attentive to detail is I would get close to here and I would use a lasso tool, polygonal, and I would come into here and I would just start going straight down that line, man. Really slowly and steadily. Backspace. I'm a little messed up there. Boom. 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 Okay. Uh, boom. There. There. There, there, and connect it, marching ants, delete, there it goes, control D, we'll deselect it, back out, and you should have a nice looking seam there. See the seam, how it's coming? And now you can put another one over here, it goes right down the line, and it makes it look the right way. All right, so that's another thing you can do. Now, so we just put dolphins on here, which look pretty dope. We have the tiger, which looks pretty awesome too. Now I'm going to show you another one. Check it out. Cash, watch this. We'll go on here. Let's go into this one. Let's do it. Edit, paste. I'm just showing you a variety of stuff. Now, check it out. You know that you can use the quick selection. I'm sorry, the magic wand tool. I'm showing you a variety of tools now. Here's the only issue right here. So I'll hit delete. 
Now, look, it got rid of some of the cash over here. See how it deleted that? And that's okay. Watch this. You're able to get away with that. Not that one. You're able to get away with that because here's why. The reason I'm getting rid of the white with the magic wand tool is because this graphic is going to be kind of cropped a little bit. So check this out. I'm going to lower the opacity of this cache. I'm going to put the cache like right around over here. I'm going to hit control T. Whoops, my bad. I'm glad this happened. See how that is there? That's because I have that selected. Control, um, hit control D and now control T. Now, keep it in proportion, lower the cash value. Oh, shoot. Keep the cash a little bit bigger, right about there. That's, that's gonna look pretty awesome. Um, I like this, this is gonna look awesome. So, here's how you do this. Eraser tool, fly through it, let's go. Make it bigger, right about there, watch how we do. I'm kissing this area here, boom, little mesecito. Right over here, bow, 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 right over there. Let's get the rim over here. Let's bring the cash back up. Watch how easy that was. Oh, Nelly, there it is, see? And this is not a hard thing to do. And again, you would go into here and you would clean up this area. I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that again. You just saw it three times. So you guys clean up these area and the seams, hit control zero. Now you got a little thing with cat. You could do anything, make this whole thing a skin. You could even duplicate this. And now that I've duplicated it, just like the rim, put one over here. And now you can put more money over here and you could take away the eraser tool right here. And you can start erasing parts of this part right here. Right here. All right. And you can start. Now you got cash money over here as well. And this is really. Uh, 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 uh. You can erase that. I'm going quickly just to, you know, kind of fly through it. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And now look at that. You got cash all over this car. All right. That's another thing. So fine. So we have cash, and you better name your layers. We learned how to put the cash on the side. We learned how to put a tiger on here, and I, I really like the dolphins the best. Okay, and you could mix it up too. You can put cash on the front, dolphins on the back. I don't care. All right. That being said, last thing I want to show you. This is pretty cool. A lot of you guys love your sports. All right. Let's say I love the Miami Dolphins. I'm just showing the dolphins. Here's why. It's really easy for me. See all the contrast. See all the. See all the contrast. See all the contrast right here. Here's all the contrast that I want. Here's why I want to show you this. I'm gonna go to copy image. I'm now going to go into here and I'm gonna to go to edit, paste. All right, watch this. I'm gonna use the magic wand tool. I'm getting rid of this whole color here. Now look at that. I got the whole entire logo right there. I didn't have to do much of anything. You better name your layers. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this right now again. I'm gonna call this. Miami um, Dolphin logo, Miami logo, Miami logo. There's your Miami logo. This one is the cash on the hood. Fine. This one right here is cash on the side. What is this one? Uh, that's my tiger. I know, and this one's my Dolphins, which I named initially. All right, let's go to the logo for the Miami Dolphins. Boom, control T, shrink that sucker. And you can literally just put the Dolphin logo right here and call it a day. And then you can um, click your move tool, lower the opacity of it, you know, and then you have it right there. And he could be on the side kind of like that. Now, that's one way to do it. You could do the opacity. Another thing you could do is you could play with some of these guys and you do darken multiply overlay i'm really showing you guys how to go in because i want you guys to be able to play with all this stuff and you can do any one of these look at this light screen overlay is a great one overlay is really cool in fact if you do overlay with any of these things it will automatically fix the seams for you which is really really cool so there's your overlay check this out if i go into the dolphins and then i go into overlay as well look at it oh my bad sorry um uh, the dolphins and you go into overlay, look at this, watch this, boom, the overlay is there as well. And it really looks awesome. So overlay is a great way to do this. And it's a great way to make it look fabulous. Um, you guys now have learned to do dolphins, tigers, cash money, cash money on the hood. You could even keep cash money on the hood and do the Miami Dolphins. I don't care. It's up to you. Just take all these tools which I've showed you, which is the polygonal lasso, the magnetic lasso, the magic wand tool. Get graphics off the internet and use them. Okay, after this, you're completely, we're going to do text. I'm going to show you how to put text on the car. 
And uh, then it's a wrap for this unit. You learned a lot. Thank you.